Now I love growing pepper plants, particularly chili pepper plants, and over the years I've grown many different varieties. But there's one thing that I realized that I was doing very recently that wasn't helpful to their growth, and that is that I was overwatering them. And in this video, I want to briefly explain the impact of overwatering and how by making subtle changes to your watering, you can make a massive difference to your pepper crop. Now it's easy to believe that providing plenty of water to your vegetables is a good thing and in most cases that's very true but the issue with pepper plants, particularly chilli pepper plants, is they originate from much warmer climates so they're used to and expect a lot less moisture. So my problem was is that I had my chilli peppers in between my tomato plants and as I was watering my tomatoes I was watering the peppers at the same time. So just getting a watering can starting at one end and watering all the way through exactly the same amount moisture in the tomatoes I was putting into the peppers and I was noticing that the leaves were starting to droop and go yellow and the peppers weren't producing very quickly. So I looked into it and I quickly realised that I was over watering the pepper plants and it was doing them no favours. So consequently what I've been doing now is watering them much less and they're already much healthier and producing some really good large peppers. Now one of the impacts of excess moisture in the soil around the roots is that that moisture can leach away essential nutrients that the plant needs, such as potassium, nitrogen, magnesium. And by providing too much water to the roots, I was denying the plant those essential nutrients. Another impact was the plants visibly didn't look very healthy. The leaves were starting to droop and starting to go yellow and brown. Also, overwatering can provide an environment for fungal diseases, such as damping off powdery mildew and root rot, which clearly are going to be significantly detrimental to the development and growth of the plants. So, as you can see, overwatering of your pepper plants can have a significant detrimental effect to their growth and development, where you might think you're doing them a favour by giving them plenty of water. So therefore, the simple solution is to do what I did, stop overwatering your pepper plants and just water them at the correct time. And the way you'll do that, if you're growing them in containers, is make sure you've got plenty of drainage. And then just keep an eye on the compost at the top of the plants. And when it looks a little bit dry, then give it a water. You really want to water fairly deeply, but infrequently. And the weather conditions will play a part in that. So even in really warm conditions, I'll probably only water these two to three times per week. Because even in warm, dry, hot conditions where most vegetables like tomatoes, for example, will require watering once or twice a day, peppers don't need that amount of water. Keeping an eye on the compost to see if it's dried out, and that should make a massive difference to your pepper plants. Now the information I've provided applies whether you're growing your pepper plants in a greenhouse or a polytunnel or outside in containers like me. It's just a case of monitoring the moisture intake that's needed for your pepper plants. Now I classify myself as a fairly experienced vegetable grower but it's the first time that I've really noticed this problem with my pepper plants and it's probably because I'm growing them for the first time outside in containers. Previously I've always grown them in an indoor environment and it's been easier to monitor the moisture there. But it has emphasised to me the importance of ensuring that you don't just assume that every plant needs the same amount of water like I did with my tomatoes and my peppers. Now these three plants here are DKN chilli peppers. I have jalapenos as well and I also have sweet peppers called California Wonder. But if you're growing other types of peppers, like I grew a fantastic variety last year called Gusto Green, absolutely wonderful. And I also tried Carolina Reaper last year, which weren't very successful. And I'm just wondering maybe if that was an issue with the water but I hope you found the video useful and I hope it makes a difference to the way that you water your pepper plants because it does make a significant difference in terms of the health of the plants. Three weeks ago I thought I'd lost these plants, they started to droop and go yellow and now because I've adjusted the amount of watering I do they started to come back quite nicely and produce some really nice peppers for me so I think by intervening I've saved my crop this year. But it has taught me to be cautious in future years when I'm growing chilli peppers to make sure that I water correctly. So thank you very much for watching the video which I hope you found useful and interesting and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel for future videos on how to sow and grow fruit, vegetables and flowers and one or two recipe ideas don't forget to press the subscribe button. I'll see you all on the next video.